Terry, I would imagine, to some degree, does do you turn into Mama Bear a little bit when you see him doing things like that? Like, oh my goodness, it's kind of a dangerous situation. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Robert's been jumping crocodiles for our research work since he was five. Yeah. Mm. So it's something he's literally grown up with. And Bindi has been jumping crocodiles since she was seven. Yeah. And um, is the science person in the family so she does all the research part of it and Robert's just boots and all you know like your dad and and I'm I'm really proud because I know that all Steve wanted was for his kids to continue in his work and and what he's doing so it's more pride but as soon as Robert outweighed me I stopped worrying okay. <laughs> like, yeah. you are way bigger and stronger yeah. than me you're fine like you mentioned the show is about continuing the legacy of Steve Irwin what do you think he would say about the show specifically Oh, I think he'd say, crikey! Yeah. Yeah, totally. yeah, I think he would love it because we always knew that Steve would say, I don't care if anyone remembers me as long as they remember my message. And so for us, it's such an honor to continue his mission and making positive change in the world, protecting wildlife. But particularly with crocodiles and, and with our new show and showcasing animals that aren't traditionally cuddly, fluffy animals. And he would always say, you know, vultures are as important as eagles and crocodiles are as important as koalas. And we need to learn to love everything. Yeah. And that's what this show kind of does is make you go, oh, I didn't know that. And oh, I kind of like that. And just change your mind. About let's, let's get your take on this. Uh, you're experts when it comes to all things relating to a zoo. There is a brand new video circulating of a woman who appears to have yeah. kind of gone behind the enclosure or into the, the yeah. lion enclosure at the Bronx Zoo. Oh, I think yeah. I've been there. What you maybe can't mm. make out is there's a moat between yeah. where she is. and where. But nonetheless, Obviously, it could be very perilous and dangerous yeah. for the woman. What does this kind of situation do for the animal when people do this kind of thing? It's it's never a good idea to be getting into an enclosure with a large predator. <laughs> That's just not really good. Not, uh, I think for for both human and, and animal, it's definitely not not good. Um, I think for the for the lion though, it's, uh, you could see he was definitely quite confused. Right. Yeah. Was... And and I think too, our main message is to treat animals with respect. Yeah. Treat them the way you would want to be treated. And when you walk down the street in New York, if somebody is teasing someone else, it could end badly. So how do you treat the guy you're standing next to at the crosswalk? Do you do a selfie with him? Do you tackle him? Do you wave your hands in his face? Or do you just kind of give him his space and be respectful? And that's kind of what we need to do with wildlife. Just appreciate them, mm. but let's let them be wildlife. Sure. Yeah. 